So let's see the easiest way to debug a function. What I've noticed is when people start writing functions and they're just learning how to pass these parameters back and forth, uh, they get lost really quickly. <laughs> And that's not surprising. Um, it's new, and it's a really weird way of thinking until you start doing it regularly. Uh, so when I start folks off, I don't really like them to use all the fancy debugging tools that are in uh, integrated development environments. I really like them to do it by hand um, because I think it teaches um, a better understanding of how functions are actually working. Um, and then as you get better, you can move on to IDEs if you want to. I admit, I still use this debugging technique a lot just because uh, I was doing it way back before there were uh, environments that would do it for me. So whenever I've got to work with functions, I'll start by trying to write the functions and getting them to work. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab some stuff because I don't wanna focus on the code. We did this code in another video. Um, I just wanna talk about how I would debug it. So. I know that I needed to deal with this. I'm going to show you a quick trick that just it will let that run without giving me any errors. It basically doesn't do anything right now. All right, so in main, I know I need to call user input. Now, when I start setting up a program, and let's say things aren't working the way I expect them to work, um, it says my name, name uh, what's your last name, and then nothing happens, and I don't know why. Right? So the first thing I do is I start giving myself information in every function. These are my debug statements. And I may use some or all of these. Um, certainly when you send me code and ask me for help, I get this all the time. Here's my code, I don't know why it doesn't work. My answer is gonna be, where are your debug statements? You don't know how it works because you can't read the mind of code, right? It's not the way it works. You've gotta communicate. So print statements are our friend. Print, I'm in main. Right? I don't care that it's pretty, the syntax is good. I'm gonna mark it debug so I know go back to get rid of it later. Right? And I'm gonna put one right here and I'm gonna say print. I'm in user input. Mark that as debug statement. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna say I'm in And trust me, this is much faster than trying to find your mistakes without the code, right? So, and if you ever look at my code, this is what it looks like before I give it to you guys as an example. It all has this stuff in it. Why? Because then I can see what's going on. I can see when it runs, the very first line that happens is this one. And then the very next line I see is this one. So I know it went, well, it got from main to user input, just like it was supposed to. And then it asked me for a name. All right? And then that's the last message I get. Well, it never got here. Well, why didn't it get there? Oh, because I didn't call it. Well, I must have to call it. So, all right. I can see that it got to both parts there. So yeah, it called this one, and then it went to that one, and it went to that one, just like it was supposed to, but why didn't it print the names out? Uh, well, there must be a problem down here, right? Well, all right, so I'm not catching anything. I can see that. All right, well, why not? Well, I don't seem to be doing anything up here. All right, well, let me add some more. I know that this needs to return those. Is it returning them? Well, first let's see if these things are catching what they're supposed to. So I'm gonna add a debug statement right here that has each of those. Uh, print, the names are, and I'm just gonna put the first name, last name, first name, last name, and I'm gonna say where it's at in user input. I put my debug statement. All right, so now I can try to figure out, well, what's going on? Now, part of the problem is you've got to put your comma there. All right. Let's see here. All right, so I'm in main. Good. Main goes to user input. Good. What is your first name? Good. What's your last name? Good. All right. And then I can see this line runs. The names are first name, last name. 
All right. And then the very next thing I see is I'm in print names. So somehow it got from here to here. How to do that? Well, it must have returned. So it returned here. So did it return those names like it was supposed to? I don't know. If I were to put a print statement, I would quickly see, well, there's nothing to print. All right. Okay, so I must need these names here. So we'll call it name one, name two, equal user input. All right. Now, hopefully, I'm passing first name and last name. How can I be sure? By adding another debug statement. Oops, sorry. And you see how I'm, I'm typing a lot, but I'm telling myself exactly what's happening. Right? This is exactly how I go through your work too. So if you send me stuff without these print statements, I just have to put them all in anyway. So I'm gonna make you do it, right? This way I can confirm, did it get there? Yeah, did it get there? Did it get back? Did it pass back the things that I expected? Well, let's find out. Get a main, meant to user input, what's your first name? B, what's your last name? BB. All right, I can see the names here were B and BB. I can see first name, last name returned. I can see when they returned, it was B and BB. Good. So everything is working so far. So I know the problem is I'm not passing them down here. All right, so I remember now, oh yeah, I gotta pass them here. So name one, name one, name two. And I do remember that I gotta catch them. So and I'm gonna here, I'm gonna leave my print, get rid of that pass now, I'm gonna say print. Names are And if I want to be sure, anytime I return things, I love to, or pass things, I'd love to put a print statement that says print. And print names, caught, name one, name two. Oops, caught, comma, name one, name two. And mark that as a debug. Right. And I can check B, B, and I can see everything that happens, right? I don't have to think about what the code did. Yeah, let's do this again one time up high so that you can actually see it a little better. Put in your first name, B is B, your last name is bag B, right? I can see everything that happened. It was in main, then it went to user input, it asked for the first name, it asked for the last name, it checked the names were entered, it passed back to main, it checked that the names were properly returned, and then it went to print names, it checked that it got the right names, and then it printed the names out. Now, that seems like a lot. I know there's as many debug statements as there are regular statements. Um, but the reality is, if you're gonna send me your code, for help, this is the very first thing I'm gonna tell you to do because it's the very first thing I'm gonna do. You can't see what's going on in your code, right? If you're not using an integrated development environment yet, which we're not, there's no magic to tell you that the right things passed. What I see a lot is that these things end up being not what you thought. I'll see people who will change them to integers, to strings, and then when they pass them back, they're passing strings instead of integers, or they're passing uh, they're not passing them in the right order, or they're not passing the same number of items. Um, all of those things are really normal common errors that take hours to solve. Whereas in just a couple of minutes, you could have added debug statements um, and found the problem.